Hello stampers. Look what came in the mail today. I'm super excited. Sorry if I have some poor lighting. Um, it gets dark so early now and by the time I went and got the mail um, then it's already almost dark out. But this is the November paper pumpkin. So this is called backed in or back in plaid. Pardon my uh, pining for plaid last month, but I love this box. Isn't it super cute? P.S. I'm using my other box for all of my Stampin' Blends markers. They fit so perfectly in there, and since it was such a cute box with that green and black plaid, then I was super excited. Although I almost like this one better because I like the white and black, but it says the um, back in plaid right here. So let's open this up. Well, I thought I cut the seal. Apparently I did not. Oh, no, there's actually two seals, so that's why. Oh, I'm so excited. The inside has that fabulous little greeting on there again. So super, super fun interior as well. And then open the tissue paper because Christmas came early. Dapper Denim is the ink this month. And we have Let It Snow, Merry and Bright, To and From, there's a snowflake, a star, two little like twigs, they might be like mistletoe, a um, Christmas tree, and the word joy. So super cute. Those are good for, um, like Let It Snow is perfect for like, <laughs> depending on how long your winter goes, but into lots of months into the new year. So that's super fun. Oh my goodness, these are so cute! So let's pull that aside. Look at those little stockings! Oh my gosh, they're so adorable! Okay, let's pop this open. Actually, it looks like it's already slightly, yep, there we go. Now I don't have to worry about ripping something. Look at these adorable little stockings! They are just precious, and they have that plaid um, edge there. Super, super cute. Oh my goodness. They are so adorable. There's a whole bunch. There's one, two. There are 10 total little stockings. Then we have little um, clothespins, some cherry cobbler baker's twine, and then look at these little gold labels. So the snowflake is on the top with the banners on the bottom, or the tree is on top with the banner tips on the bottom. So there's lots of sheets of those. And then these are just white banners. So I'll pop one out so you can see it a little bit better. So you can see the little banner tips. And then we have some of the, those little greenery pieces. Like I said, I think I'm gonna go with mistletoe. Surely, since it's that time of year, it doesn't look like evergreen, so I'm going with mistletoe there. So there's the little greenery pieces. There's oodles of those on there. And cherry cobbler banners. Oh, well, of course you can't see it on the cherry cobbler. Here's our mini glue dots to adhere together. The cardboard piece. Oop, I'm throwing things all over. And of course the instructions. So it's a little tag that goes on there. Um, you don't have to use the foil piece, which it looks like that's what the extra white is for. Or perhaps maybe for the back to stamp to and from. It could possibly be that. Or they're just extras in case you wanted to use them um, for a different occasion without a tree or a snowflake. But all the instructions are on there. Those are super cute. I think those would be great with a little, um, you know, a little treat inside for a hostess gift or um, it would be perfect for a place setting at your holiday meal and you put everybody's name on there with just a little something in there. It could be just, you know, little, little good thoughts written on paper or a little, you know, stack of some mini cards or tags or something like that. But I think it's super cute and I can't wait to assemble it. Of course, I'll have all the pictures of this on my blog, laurastamppad.com, so you can check that out there, as well as lots of past kits, so you can see those. Paper Pumpkin does make a great holiday gift. I have um, some nieces and nephews who love Paper Pumpkin. And so there is the one 
three six and 12 month subscriptions. You can always do that as a fabulous little gift or just someone who likes to be crafty but maybe doesn't have a lot of supplies because all you need is a pair of scissors um, with this fabulous little box that comes every month. So super, super fun. Don't forget that for Christmas gifts and, um, and of course you want to sign up before the 10th of December to get the December kit. So here's all of those goodies again. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. You can subscribe by clicking down there or you can check out some of my other videos over here. I'll see you all next time. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.